right, so there sits my washer inside the bathtub. And I can't put this here because if I do, it won't stay. So I have to fill it just inside the tub like this. So I put my hose in and then I'm going to put in my detergent and I don't use very much. It doesn't take a lot. So I pour just a, t just a bit like that. That's it. It's all you, that's all you need. That might even be too much. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to pour that in. Oh, first of all, I'm going to make sure that this isn't on the drain, which it is. So I'm going to shift it over. I'm going to do soft. And so I pour my detergent in. Yeah, I could probably use a little bit more, but we're just going to go with that. Okay. So then I'm going to shut the lid, turn my water on, and I'm going to fill it like that. So I'm going to pause this while it's filling because it's boring. Okay, so I have filled the washer approximately that full up to the bottom of the filter right there. And when you fill it, you generally want to kind of keep your ratio of clothing and water um, about, I don't know, it's hard, to de it's hard to tell you how much water to put in. It just depends on how many clothes you're going to wash. So I'm going to get my clothes and I'm going to put those in and you can see how that works. Okay? Okay. I have strings on this particular item. Uh, things tend to knot up in this washer, um, so I tie my strings that I have, that I, if I can tie them into a bow, so hopefully they don't do that. So I'm just going to wash pants. I try to wash similar items. Um, that's just the way I do it. Anybody can, you know, you can throw whatever you want in here, but because things do tangle, I try to... <laughs> do it to where things won't tangle when they're washed. Okay, so that's in there, and you can see that it's like at the top of the washer, but as I start to spin it, it should be fine. So we're going to turn on our wash, and I use 15 minutes. I've got it on soft. So let's watch this for a minute and see if there's enough water to accommodate what I've put in. That's going to be plenty as it spins and turns. Yeah, that's enough, I think. Okay. So that will go for 15 minutes like that. And then after that, I'll show you what we do next. And we're back. So we are all done with the wash part. As you can see, everything is all washed and ready to go into the spin dryer. So the first thing I need to do is drain it. So I take my hose and I'm going to lay it in the tub because it is a gravity drain so you have to be downhill and the tub is a perfect place to do that and then I'm going to take this and I'm going to take it from here over to drain and the water just comes right on out and as soon as it is drained then I will do the spin cycle alright so we're going to transfer our clothes over to the spin cycle it's drained it's got this little extra lid there. There's also a little one of these that comes with it. I didn't read the instructions, so I really don't have any idea what it's for. <laughs> so we're going to... Now, because I'm doing pants and they're heavy, I'm not going to put very many in the spin cycle. So we're going to put one...
And that's the other thing when you're doing this is you have to decide how many clothes you want to put in your wash and how many times you're going to be spinning things because you can't get everything in at once. So that's about it. I'm going to make sure it's balanced. I kind of shake it around in here like that. Move it around a little bit. Here's where the fun begins. <laughs> so I'm going to close this. I'm going to get my hose. Normally it would be your inlet hose that you get with your washer, but however I can't use that. I'm going to turn this on. I'm only going to do three minutes because it's the first rinse. And I just sit here and hold this. <laughs> it's a very interactive washer. I let the water run in here for about two minutes and then the last minute I just let it spin out. That's getting all the soap off of the clothing and the spin cycle so I can put it in the rinse and we don't have all that residual going on. that spin out and uh, then I'll do the next load that's in here over to here and then I'll start the rinse cycle I'll be back all right so that first spin cycle is done so I'm going to take my clothes out and I'm going to throw them in a basket and then I'm going to put my next set in here to spin And that's it. Okay. So repeating the same thing I did before, turning it on. If you're going to do this in your bathtub, buy one of those little screens that goes over your drain to keep lint and other debris from going down into your uh, drain. <laughs> so I'm going to pause this because you've already seen this part. Alright, so this is spinning over here. I'm done with the rinsing part. I'm going to put my hose back in over here to do a rinse. Make sure that your drain is turned back to your cycle so the water just doesn't go right through and out the drain. So, we're going to put our fabric softener in. I like my clothes really soft, so I generally give it a full cup of fabric softener. But you can do whatever you want. It's your washer. So then I'm going to, again, fill up. washer so that I can rinse my clothes and that will be the final thing that I'll do with uh, these this load other than spin it and then put it out to dry I have to say that I actually love this washer um, I have a lot of fun when I do laundry. <laughs> I really get happy when I'm doing laundry with this washer because I have to be involved in what I'm doing and I really enjoy that. So we're done spinning over here. I'm filling over here for the rinse cycle. Hi. Oh, you still ain't seen half my face. <laughs> That's okay. So um, we're just about there with the water, so I'm going to turn the water off. Okay, so I'm going to put my clothes back in the washer over here. It's a little fuller this time, water-wise. That's okay. And then I put these back in. Shut my lid. And I've got it on my 
drain or I've got it off the drain so I can wash and then I'm I always do a 12 minute rinse but there's nine from 15 down to zero you can rinse as much as you want or as little as you want um, I do 12 so we'll be back in 12 minutes okay so if I'm out of breath it's because I just did a workout um, we're done with the rinse on this so I'm gonna drain it turn this over water's all going to run out and then we're going to move it from here over to here and we're going to spin it one more time I'm going to put some water in here but not a lot because I don't want to lose my fabric softener so I set it at five minutes I then let it run to about 30 seconds into the five minutes and then I put it back up to the five and I stopped the water inlet and let it spin out. I have spun things 10 minutes. It really doesn't make a difference. It doesn't seem to get any drier than it does at five. And at five minutes, it's pretty doggone dry, uh, ready to hang up, of, not to in your closet, but hang up too dry. It is by no means a dryer, <laughs> like what you're thinking in the heat sense of the word. No, it's not that. Okay, so we're all drained. The first thing I do when I'm done is I take out my filter. See how lovely that looks? After every load, take this out. You take it off and you empty it. I take it to the kitchen sink. I turn it inside out like this. Okay. Can you see that? And I wipe all of this off. And from personal experience, from forgetting to take this off and do this, um, the next day I went to do laundry, or the next time I went to do laundry, the inside of my washer stunk like really dirty feet. So, um, and I don't have dirty feet. So you want to make sure you clean that. I'm going to take it to the kitchen sink and I'm going to rinse it out really well so all the lint's off of this thing. And then you put it back on and you do your next load of laundry and I'll show you how to put it back on when I've got it clean. Okay, so we're going to put our clothes over here just like we did before. <clears throat> it's going to be two spins to get it done because I've got heavy, 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 heavy clothing. If you're doing intimate apparel, you can probably do that and get it all spun down in one load. But most of my loads, I end up having to spin um, more than two in a load because, you know, it's small. But it gets, it gets the job done, which is good. And it gets your clothes really clean. It's a really good washer. I only paid $94 for this washer, and it I love it. It's wonderful. I highly recommend the Costway washer. And I'm going to end the tutorial now because I think you get the hang of what we're doing. Um, no, I'm not. I have to show you how to put this back on. So anyway, let's pretend that that's all done. So you put it back on here. Put my glasses on, like so. I kind of hold this because it's got to get down in... spot right there let's see I'm trying to do this one-handed see that right there it's where it has to go and it clicks in snaps in and it's ready for the next wash okay hope you enjoyed my tutorial I hope I get 48 views this time it'll really be viral bye